Hi! Oh my god, oh my god, chaos again. Uh, with another episode of New Tone of Tuning. So this series is now back as well. And this time I am doing with my Young Sing deck, so let's see how it goes. Hmm, my hand is not that great. I think I can do something at least. So first going to activate Bull of Twilight. Let's see what I get. Hmm, I'm definitely going to get that Young Syncreation. Definitely one of the best cards in the stack. Set for. I went to regionals uh, uh, last uh, Sunday. I think it was pretty much the first uh, regionals in Estonia. Um, at least after 2009. So that's uh, that was very nice. But only 10 people showed up. Um, of course, that was pretty expected, considering that there are not really that many Yu-Gi-Oh players in Estonia, but still, I kind of hoped for more. Unfortunately, I didn't do well at all in my originals, I only got uh, two wins, and I lost two, so they must 2-2 two, two record. So I think I got 5th or 6th place, I think, and I did get top 8, so I did get a, a Red Eyes a Flare Metal Dragon Playmat. So that's nice at least, but I definitely didn't uh, deserve it. <laughs> I'm going to activate Young Syncration. Going to activate Chiman's effect and then Creation's effect as well. And this way I'm going to summon out. I think Swane. Either Pion or Pixie. I think it's best to go for Pixie. So that way I'm pretty much unaffected by traps. So I can yeah use my skill drain. In potential. Okay, right, that was nest. That's nice of that, I guess. Of course, I really like Redators. Like you probably see, I have the Redator uh, Satellite Cannon Falcon Slaves, of course. Then we're looking forward to the Wing Raiders set. Wow, another one. That's interesting, I guess, but... Yeah, why not activate Swanee's effect? But what does it summon? Yeah, I probably can't... summon Boxer because it would miss the timing. I 
And I think I kind of screwed up. But why not summon Scarlight? Retro Nausea. At least my monster is unaffected by traps. Wow, one one. Contact with skill drain. The skill drain is a. Uh, Really powerful card, rightfully limited. So I think I should talk about my matchup in, matchups in my regulations as well. Uh, first round I played against uh, a Ritual Beast. Of course it was still uh, with that previous ban list. This was, it was 8th of November, so just before the ban list, uh, new ban list took effect. So I played, uh, of course, against Ritual Beast, still with a uh, free ulti uh, First duel, I completely got screwed. Of course, I myself played with my rank up held beast deck with the Performage engine. So I'm um, opponent got off the Elder um, Kanahog combo. First turn, so I really couldn't do anything about that and in second trial I sided in Imperial Iron Wall and opened with it so I won that trial thanks to that and the third trial opponent really didn't get uh, the combo so combo going and um, I got out, uh, got out uh, Chaos number 106 uh, pretty fast and um, I won thanks to that, so I won my first match in the regionals. Second round, I, I played against uh, some sort of a far press trap tricks uh, anti meta attack with lots of uh, lot of back row. Wow, okay, burning miracles. That's interesting, I guess. I don't think it's really that great. Um, basically, first to have my opponent opened up with uh, Kaiser Colosseum, a uh, Fossil Dyna, and uh, uh, three back rows. I really couldn't get over the Fossil Dyna, and Kaiser Colosseum locked me down as well, so pretty much lost that very fast. And um, it was almost the same in the second to have my opponent didn't open up uh, Fossil Dyna, but opened up with uh, Kaiser Colosseum. So yeah, unfortunately I really couldn't get anything going, so I lost pretty badly again. So which was very unfortunate for me. But well, what can you do, I guess? And in the third match, I played against Volcanics. First well, I won pretty easily, I because all the came up front. With Chaos number, Chaos number 69 and two upper corners, and then main phase two went for Cowboy. But the yeah, opponent really didn't get a good hand. But in the uh, in the second trial, unfortunately, I lost because the uh, opponent I didn't really have a good hand. The opponent got the engine going pretty fast as well. In the third trial. Mm, it was all pretty bad for me because my opponent had uh, also really good advantage. Uh, and my opponent uh, then activated Magic Planter and then had uh, um, 
place I swear to in the cream art, I don't want to feel as well, so I really couldn't do much about that. Well, I just uh, nuked my monsters and, and then I pretty much lost. And then in the fourth round, I played against uh, I get more strikes. So it's my turn. So I click the S, call its effect again. An attack for a game. If I can, of course. Okay, I have to readiness. But does that really even do anything? Not sure. Because it doesn't affect the monster itself, so I guess my plan still takes uh, no damage this turn. I guess we can try it out. Yeah, I was right. Well, I don't think my punch really can, can do anything about this situation. I have skill rain, creation, and two more back rows. I think at this point I'm just going to compose the face stun monster and attack for game. And in the fourth round I played against my toy shares. And I yeah, won that and match pretty easy there. Okay, so I won this duel, so I guess we can uh, go to the next duel. And I'm back, so let's see how it goes this time. So, in the fourth round I pretty much uh, got out um, Chaos Marvel 6, both duels, and that really helped me quite a lot. I think I should go first, at least with this deck, but my hand is not that great. Too many monsters, I would say. But if I can get access to Chatu, then I could do something with this hand. At least some combo plays, I guess. So all together, I yeah, got like I said, got two wins and lost two as well. So not really the greatest. Pretty disappointed, but yeah, I really couldn't do anything in those matches I lost. So hopefully next time I will do better. In next session, also that is going to be thirteenth uh, of December. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Probably still going to play the same deck, but um, in the case I get them um, magician cards at the right time, then I might play that deck. But it's pretty unlikely. I don't think the cards will come that fast. I'm going to order the structure deck cards in the fourth of December, and I don't think they those cards get here like so fast in. Uh, pretty much um, nine days. Our opponent activates both of that. So it's black wings. Our opponent gets the Shura. 
I'm not sure if I will keep the Young Sync deck in, in this series. It's a little bit boring deck at times. But we'll see. Probably not right now. Only when I... Uh, if I have another synchro based deck I want to include um, in the series. Only then I will might take the stack out from the series. <laughs> My synchron deck of course got hurt by the new panelist and that deck will now change quite a lot. Now the Synchron deck pretty much resembles my uh, Stardust uh, Chaos Synchro deck more. Thanks to the limitation of uh, reinforcement of the army. Now I have to uh, go back to the Light Swan engine and, uh, and the mini Chaos Dragons. But I, unfortunately I don't have just Light Brigade and I kinda need it. But I'm still going to do the updated deck profile pretty soon after I get my cards in the post, my hot red renouncement abyss, for example. I have so many decks I want to build. Come on, point, yeah, that's that. Oh, but yeah, it's kind of different way, I guess. Well, I can call it as well, 3200 damage. That's pretty massive. So I'll summon something in the fence. I guess summon Shadow. And nothing else, okay. Well, it's pretty likely I'm not going to summon box and punt all of my opponent's cards. So I'm gonna summon Swanry. Flip summon. Big same. Then. Synchro Shogun. Bounce everything away. Then activate the Young Sync path as well. I just put those three to the deck. That's not too bad, I guess. Just two MSTs. Hmm, Blizzard. I guess my mind is going for a level 6 sync summon. Which I think is fine for me. Okay, oh guardian. Well, that's not going to get over my boxy as well. Oh, 
or maybe my opponent has lands. But I don't think Black Wings play that card. So now I'm going to activate. It's got space to fall. No, we'll transmodify Black backlink. Black Wings, okay. I don't think that card is really that great. I get an awesome one. Shiran. Then activate the effect of Toxia. Destroying Chiran and then summoning out Swanny from my graveyard. Then what should summon? I guess Chato. Why not? And then I not sure. I already know I summoned. I guess I will go for Leo. Because it's a really good card. And just to do some damage as well. I'm going to end my turn. Okay, that's Pinocchio. Going to attack over it. Yeah, black wings are definitely going to get some support in the future thanks to the arc five anime. But they are they are definitely going to be pretty different from the regular black wings, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure how good they will be with that new support. Probably still not of course top tier. But I think at least they will become more in interesting day than they currently are. Another pot of twelve. Then. I guess trying to get that uh, black whirlwind. Okay, Icarus attack. That was actually pretty expected. And then Shura. I'm definitely going to end phase and miss that. I cross attack. That's for sure. In this new format, I think Young Sync uh, do have some potential. But after Break of Shadow, that might be uh, very different, and uh, unfortunately, uh, 
Young Sink have a really bad minor spectral matchup as well. Picks of course the Vanishing Trap card and Tempest is really good against this deck as well. And back for game with Leo. So I want this to as well. Mostly because my opponent really didn't have much protection. So, uh, this is it for this uh, episode of uh, New Tone of Tonic. So, this series will go on for a while as well, I think. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, for now, goodbye and Omerkeus out.